Welcome back. It is called the East Village Youth Program. It has received a number of awards recognized really citywide for all their wonderful work with kids, especially in the Latino community. So here to represent that organization, Animal Anibal Vega. Did I yes, say that correctly? Yes, yes, thank you. you. He is the executive director of the uh, group. Thank you for coming in. It's well, appreciated. Thank you for having me. Thank okay. you so much. Let's talk about the East Village Youth Center or program and what you're able to accomplish by working with these students. Well, you know, EVYP, um, East Village Youth program has been in existence for 28 years. Mm -hmm. um, so with that organization, we have survived all the nonprofit highs and lows. But what we've done is we work with Chicago students in preparing them as first generation students to go into college. Okay. Um, you know, because as you know, as college and economic growth, you need education to move forward. So what we do is prepare them from SAT preparations, helping them with their tutoring, mm -hmm. um, college personal statement writings, um, financial aid. Um, you know, preparing the family to understand the life of a college student um, and, and showing them, you know, various universities that everything is not only in Chicago. So do you, do you take them to the university? We take them to university. Okay. We just had a college tour. Um, we took 13 juniors um, to U of I. We took them to the University of um, Iowa. We took them to Grindell College. I mean, so we took them to various colleges and universities to give them an exposure of taking them outside of Chicago, taking them outside of their neighborhood that, you know, with the violence that's going on so much with the, mm -hmm. with the communities. So taking them into a peace safe environment so that way they can grow and see that awareness and enlightenment. Yeah, that's very interesting because I think one of the biggest challenges when you're an immigrant family yes. coming to this country is you don't oftentimes have the information or know even where to get the resources to maybe help your family or help your kid yes. go on to college. I mean, I remember myself filling out a financial aid application for college and having no idea and neither did my right. parents, right? right? Because they've never done this They've before done and that. so it becomes so much more important the work that you're doing. Well you know and especially you know with um, families that are as you said immigrants or undocumented mm -hmm. you know that are coming in and don't know the proper procedure and finding and filing for financial aid yeah. or um, knowing what they need the 1099s or the or W9s or W2s you know and I'll give you a perfect example like you know financial aid we used to apply in January for financial aid well that's been moved up to October so if families don't know that the financial aid application has they, been yeah. moved up, how would they know? And, you, and you're waiting until January of 2018, and then you get told there's no money because you weren't getting those resources or support. Okay. Uh, we're living at a time when uh, there's not a lot of uh, state resources, right, yeah, to go course. around to some of these nonprofits. So how are you kind of making ends meet? How are you able to help more and more students? Well, you know, we serve 1,000 students a year plus mm -hmm. 238 families. Um, what we've done is grant writing, fundraising. We've had great fund, um, you know, board members that really push out the events and basically individual donors. I mean, we are asking all the time. I am always asking <laughs> because, you know, if you don't ask, you don't get anything. So Sque I'd rather, squeaky wheel gets yeah, the oil, wheel right? Wheel, you know, and, and we don't turn anything away. You know, anything from five dollars to ten thousand dollars, we ex we expect. You know, we accept it and we and we appreciate it. So with the state budget, we don't get any state funding. That's one of the things that the EBYP. I try to stay away from the state budget mm -hmm. and funding, but we ha do so much great work, and we have alumni that you know went through the program that are sitting on our board of directors that you know run businesses and run mm -hmm. corporations that they're giving back. Okay, so if we have a parent, let's say, who has a child who is going to go be a senior this year in high school, uh, can they call your organization and say, look, this is my situation right now. How do I help them? What are the steps that I need to take to get my kid onto college, get them the money that they need, and make sure everything runs smoothly? Yeah. You know, they can call us. They can get on the website. They can email me personally and say, this is what's going on. You know, and then I would direct them to the appropriate staff member that works specifically in that program. So anything that the parent that needs, um, we, we're open to anything. You know, we have those venues, social media. You know, we have the website. We have the telephone mm -hmm. that they can come in and say, this is what we, this is the support that we need. This is the lack of resources that we have, and this is the help that we need. We will provide that for them. Yeah, that's half the battle, knowing that's where to go battle, and who can help you. Okay, yes. you've got an event coming up. It's in May. Yes, it I is. want you to give me the 30 second pitch on this, really promote it to get people out there. And there's the info on the screen, by the way, as he talks about yes, it. Yes, our spring soiree is our big gala that we have for EVYP. And what we do is at Pinstripes, May 18 from 6 to 9. And what we do is we're celebrating all the successes that we've done within the last 28 years. And we're success 
and we provide the success of our young people. So we're giving out two of our young people scholarships that Ooh, night, okay. and we're and we're honoring individuals that have supported the organization. So come out; it's going to be fun, appetizers, drinks, you know, mingle, network, and support EBYP. Okay, wonderful, great job, Thank fist you. bump right Thank here. You. you did great. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Anibal. Uh, okay, so East Village Youth Program. Remember, you can check them out on their website. Uh,